Find the area of the red triangle. Label A, B, C, D, E, and F. Since B, C equals C, D. Let them be equals to X, respectively. It is because lines from the same external point and tangent to a circle are equal. It implies that AB equals 4 minus X, which equals A, F, and line D. E equals 3 minus X. Thus, EF equals 5 minus in bracket 4 minus X, which equals to the sum of 1 and X that is equals to line DE. It implies that D, E equals the sum of 1 and X. Solve for X. 3 minus 1 equals 2 times X. Thus, 2 equals 2 times X. Then, Divide the equation by 2. Thus, x equals 2 divided by 2 which equals to 1. Hence, a, b equals 4 minus 1 which equals 3. This result is equals to a, f and line. e, f equals 2 which equals d, e. Triangle D, E, F is an isosceles triangle. Let angle E equals 2 times alpha. This implies that angle E, D, F equals angle E, F, D which equals to 90 degrees minus alpha. It implies that angle C, D, B equals 45 degrees. Triangle C, D, B is a 45 degrees right triangle. Now, let us consider triangle A, C, E. Using trigonometric identity. A, C divided by A, E equals 4 divided by 5 which equals sine 2 times alpha. Also, Sine 2 times alpha equals the product of 2 sine alpha and the square root of 1 minus sine square alpha. Let sine alpha equals u. It implies that. For divided by 5 equals the product of 2 u and the square root of 1 minus u squared. Square the equation and we have that 16 divided by 25 equals the product of 4, u squared and 1 minus u squared. Let u squared be equals to y. It implies that 16 divided by 25 equals the product 4, y and 1 minus y. Divide the equation by 4. It implies that 4 divided by 25 equals the product of y and 1 minus y. Open bracket. 4 divided by 25 equals y minus y squared. Clear fraction by multiplying the equation by 25. It implies that 4 equals 25 times y minus 25 times y squared. Rearrange terms. Thus, 25 times y squared minus 25 times y plus 4 equals 0. Factorize, it implies that. 25 times y squared minus 20 times y minus 5 times y plus 4 equals 0. 
It implies that the product of 5 times y minus 4 and 5 times y minus 1 equals 0. Either 5 times y minus 4 equals 0 or 5 times y minus 1 equals 0. It implies that y equals 4 divided by 5 or y equals 1 divided by 5. But y equals u squared. Thus, u squared equals 4 divided by 5 or 1 divided by 5. Take the square root of the equation. This implies that u equals the square root of 4 divided by 5 or the square root of 1 divided by 5. Thus, u equals 2 divided by the square root of 5 or 1 divided by the square root of 5. Recall that u equals sine alpha. It implies that sine alpha equals 2 divided by the square root of 5 or 1 divided by the square root of 5. Hence, sine alpha is not equals to 2 divided by the square root of 5 as it is an extraneous result. Thus, sine alpha equals 1 divided by the square root of 5. From triangle B, D, F. Angle B, D, F equals 180 degrees. Minus in bracket 90 degrees minus alpha plus 45 degrees. This result equals to the sum of 45 degrees and alpha. And by Pythagoras' theorem, B, D equals the product of X and the square root of 2 which equals to the square root of 2 as X is equals to 1. Let us find the length of FD from triangle D, E, F using cosine rule. It implies that the square of FD equals the product of 2, the square of D, E, and cosine 2 times alpha. But cosine 2 times alpha equals C, E divided by A, e which equals 3 divided by 5 and d, e equals 2. Substitute values and we have that. The square of fd equals the product of 2, the square of 2 times 1 minus 3 divided by 5, which equals to 16 divided by 5. Take the square root of the equation. This implies that f d equals the for divided Therefore, by the square root of 5. The area of triangle B D F equals the product of half, length of f, d, length of b, d, and sine 45 degrees plus alpha. We call the equation Q. By trigonometric identity, sine 45 degrees plus alpha equals the sum of sine 45 degrees times cosine alpha and sine alpha times cosine 45 degrees. We call it equation 2. But cosine alpha equals the square root of 1 minus sine squared alpha. Since sine alpha equals 1 divided by the square root of 5. It implies that cosine alpha equals 2 divided by the square root of 5. Substitute values in equation 2. Thus, 
sine 45 degrees plus alpha equals 3 divided by the square root of 10 after substitution and simplification of values. Now, substitute all the values into equations Q. The product of 0 0.5, line F, D, line B, D and sine 45 degrees plus alpha equals the product of half, for divided by the square root of 5, times the square root of 2 times 3 divided by the square root of 10 which equals to 6 divided by 5 in square units or 1.2 in square units.